Hey everybody and welcome back to the Techmoto channel and the Electronics Playlist. Today we're going to be looking at binary. Now many people will recognize this symbol. It's a symbol that's used on many electronic products to symbolize on and off. And it'll be something that is incredibly familiar to you, but I'll bet that you didn't realize that this is binary code. And if we split these two apart, you can see that there's a zero and a one in here. Zero representing off and one representing on. Because binary relates to a system of numerical notation to the base of two. Uh, which is represented or expressed as a zero or a one. And this is really useful in electronics as um, it represents uh, binary code, uh, programming or encoding using only the digits zero and one. And it's really useful for future videos when we're talking about logic. So we're gonna go through this in a simple and straightforward way. And to do that, we need to go back to our primary school years where we studied something called deanery. Uh, which is also known as decimal or base 10. And that is the standard number system that we're all familiar with, which uses the digits zero to nine, so 10 numbers. Now the first two letters in deanery or DE are an abbreviated version of DEC, des, which is a Latin prefix meaning 10. Now if we look at binary, the Latin prefix by means two. And so if we play that out and we do what we're familiar with with deanery, uh, if you remember at school, you had your units, you had your tens, you had your hundreds, you had your thousands. And then underneath that, you would put uh, one of the numbers from zero to nine, and that would represent the number that you were looking for. Now in binary, everything is in multiples of two. So instead of doing units, tens, thousands, uh, we do it in multiples of two instead. And so instead of um, units, we have the ones digit. Instead of tens, we have the twos digit. And instead of hundreds, we have the fours digit and so on and so forth. Now, this will um, strike a chord with you because if you buy anything to do with computers, uh, SD cards, uh, hard drives, anything like that, you'll see these very familiar numbers. So you can buy a 32 gigabyte SD card, you can buy a 64 gigabyte SD card, and this is the reason why. Now, binary numbers can be um, found by summing up all of the binary digits. So, for example, if we add in some numbers here, let's just put um, a 1 underneath the uh, 1's digit. We'll put a 0 under the 2's digit. We'll put a 1, because remember, we're only allowed to use zeros and 1's in binary. Uh, we'll put a 1 underneath the 4 digit. We'll put a 0 under the 8 digit, and we'll put a 1 under the 16 digit. Now, if we add this up, we've got 1 16, we've got 1 4, and we've got 1 1. And so what that ends up with is 16 plus 4 plus 1, which gives us the decimal number 21. So the binary number 10101 is the decimal number 21. So let's do another example. Let's say we had the number 33 and we wanted to work out what that was in binary. Well, what you do is you work out what is the smallest number in the decimal side that you can fit into the number 33. And of course, that is going to be 32. So let's turn that on by putting a one underneath the 32. Now, what we're looking for there is we take the 32 away from 33 and we're left with one, left to get one as in a decimal number. So we turn on uh, the ones in binary with just putting a one underneath it. And what we've ended up with is um, one, zero, 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 one. Let's do another example. Let's say we were looking for the number nine. What's the smallest number uh, that will fit into the number nine? Well, it's eight. So we turn on the number eight by putting a one underneath it. And then what are we left with? Well, we're left with one. So we put a one underneath our one digit. So we have an eight and a one, which makes nine. So our binary number for the number nine is one, zero, zero, one. And that's how it works. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, because binary is incredibly important when we're talking about electronics or computing or programming or doing anything with um, electronic devices. And the reason for that is that electronic devices nowadays are built up with things called transistors, which we'll cover in a future video. And transistors are basically just little switches. There are millions and millions of transistors in our microchips. And these transistors can either be on or off. And that is how computers work. But in all our future videos, when we're talking about logic or we're talking about inputs and outputs, we might just use the term zeros and ones to represent whether something is on or off or whether there's a positive signal or a negative signal. But we will start to use zeros and ones more and more. 
And so that's a very simple video on uh, binary. Uh, if you liked it, please do subscribe. Uh, keep watching because we're going to go on to the next video, which is all about logic. Um, and you'll need to understand the use of zeros and ones for that video. So it's important that you watch this video first. Um, but that's it for now. I'll catch up with you soon.